Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome to Book Talk. Today we are discussing Just One Day by Gil Foreman. This book was so different and it made me feel so many things. I really, really enjoyed it, but it's in a different way that I enjoyed something like Fangirl or uh, Anna and the French Kiss. There's something about those books that that's a little warmer and this is more sentimental. It's not so much the warm fuzzy book as a book about a journey and finding yourself. It's about this girl named Allison and she's just graduated out of high school and for her graduation gift her parents gave her a trip to Europe on one of those teen tours and it's the last day of the tour and she meets this guy. Through a happen chance of events they end up going to Paris together and they only have one day before her flight back to America. And I don't want to tell you anything else. That's not the whole book. There's so much to this story and it just really moved me in ways and made me think about things that I've done. Oh, it was really great. This is by no means a sad book, but it's not one of those morning period books. I flew through it in one day. I really like this cover. I kind of wish I had it in hardcover. I think I'd give it a 94. And I'm taking away those 6% just because there was something about some of the characters that I just didn't love as much. And I do really love to love all the characters. Oh my god, I'm so excited to read the next one. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the non-spoilery section. Go read the book, come back, and discuss with me. I'm so excited to talk about this more in depth, okay? Bye, non-spoiler people, bye! Okay, I was really excited about this day in Paris because I went to Paris, I was there for like a day and a half. I crammed all this crap into one day. Of course it was different because it was like with four friends. It wasn't with like a mysterious stranger I met on the train. But that just made it even more exciting. I was so excited to see how that unfolded. And there was something about Willem, like I really, I don't like him that much. He irritates me. It's his playerness. It's his his tendency to look over at other women and, and let them flirt with him when he's with another girl. It really turned me off when he was with um, Celine, when he was with Celine in the closet and he was like letting her undress him. Cause you're there with another girl. I mean, come on, have some class. I feel like he can't help himself kind of. He, I have this feeling that maybe his parents passed away or his dad passed away. I feel like that was alluded to in the story and maybe he has some issues. He's an only child and he's just feels maybe he's kind of lost and that's why he's kind of like drifting in the wind. And he just, we come across so many like ex-girlfriend figures. I mean, and girlfriend figures right now. She found him and he has a girlfriend. Ah, oh. so that made it really hard for me to like him. And, and, I didn't think he was particularly funny, and that's a really big thing for me. Like, if they're funny, I like them. They're kind of, they were cutesy. I was always on the same mindset as Allison. Like, when he was like going to get the food and he never came back, like, I would have been freaking out if I were her. She was freaking out. Like, oh my god, this is all a scam. Like, what am I doing? What What is happening right now? And then he sees those girls who wave to him who know him from Holland. Oh, Willem, Willem. I just. I didn't like him as much as I usually like the male lead. And then there's Allison. I really like the backstory about how her mother had a miscarriage and the quit while you're ahead thing. Her relationship with her mother and how it evolved throughout the book. Oh my goodness. The first half of the book. I like when they were on the boat and they took the picture. I was so mad when she deleted that picture. You need that picture. What are you doing? And we had this whole scene where Willem goes to defend that random girl from the skinheads. And then they run and she kind of goes to kiss him and he steps away and is like, what were you thinking? Blah, 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 blah. And wants to send her back to London that night. I thought that was so rude. I was so mad at Willem then. I was like, I don't like you, okay? I'm like, There's something about you that keeps irritating me. You can't just send this girl you took to Paris for a day back. Do we think that that skinhead guy, one of those people from that gang that was mad at them found him? and attacked him, and that's why he was taken to the hospital that day, that he didn't come back to her. This art squat building, like, I can't imagine how they were comfortable sleeping on the floor of this building in a bunch of clay dust under a tarp, a tarp. And then he left her, uh, presumably to go get them breakfast, but let's like, just don't, just don't do that because you don't know when she's gonna wake up. You don't have cell phones. I just, what were you thinking, Willem? He took all his stuff. Why did he take all his stuff? Like, why didn't he just go get the money so she knew that he'd be coming back? It's frustrating. So that whole half the book, I was like, I am enjoying this, but it's not my favorite. They're not funny enough. They're not 
cute enough. I don't like Willem enough. I love this Gorilla Will thing. I want to see a play Gorilla Will style. Like, it just sounded so cool as the play moves. They move and they run around chasing them. So the second half, I love when things start picking up for her. I love when she finally starts changing her ways at college. The whole time, I'm waiting for her to see Willem again. I thought he was just gonna pop up someplace, and that would be really kind of random and miraculous. And this book is really real feeling, at least to me. I felt like all the things that happened were plausible to an extent. When she went to Cancun, I was like, oh my god, is he gonna be in Mexico? No. When she first left her suitcase there, I thought for sure, there's a tag on her suitcase with her address, and maybe it would come back to her with a note, or maybe he'd show up at her house, but that never happens. I thought that would have been plausible if he cared enough to show up at her house. Um, but there was no address on her suitcase, which really, really is weird to me. You usually have a tag on your suitcase, especially when you're traveling to that many countries. I guess she said that her teen tag tour fell off. Um, and she's like, we're really going rogue now, but I thought that was just like a tag that's in teen tour, it's not a tag with her address. But I guess that probably was the tag with her address now that I think about it. When we went back to Paris and, um, found out that he had gone back and looked through her suitcase for some sort of clue of where she would have went. And the connections she made with the people at the hostel were just, I loved that she was being so brave you know she went down there and was like can i come with you to dinner like that takes balls to say i don't think i'd be able to do that and i was so proud of her when she did that and just how quickly you make connections with everyone like overnight you're really close friends because you're all in the same situation you're in an unfamiliar area you don't exactly know what you're doing so make you these strong connections super fast and i completely understand like her feelings with ren when she met up with her again in amsterdam she was like i embraced her like she was an old relative it feels like that i, I mean, when you're abroad like those people that were in my flat in London I didn't know them at all the first night there we just hung out and the day after it felt like we've been friends forever I loved her job I loved the way she started learning French and how everyone started to back her when she told her story I was so happy when she finally told her story to Dee and how he was so supportive. Who knows how long she would have done pre-med being miserable if she didn't have this depression and if she hadn't had to see that guidance counselor and she hadn't grown into herself enough to tell her mom that she didn't, wasn't doing pre-med anymore. I just am really proud of her as a character. She developed so much throughout the story. I love how everyone at her job started helping her to get ready for Paris. I love that Dee's family like threw her a going away party. I love when she started taking that Shakespeare class. That was the best decision. I was so proud of her when she started doing that. And I love that thing she said about being comfortable feeling like an idiot because that is a really valuable skill. I don't know if it's a skill, it's a really valuable thing to be comfortable with. That helps immensely just with life. It helps with your ability to put yourself out there, to do new things and not be afraid to fall on your face because who cares? You get up, it doesn't matter. I'm fine with feeling like an idiot for a little bit because it'll pass and it doesn't matter. I just love the adventure of the second half, the, the final half of the book really, when she went back to Paris. I was so excited for her to go back to Paris the entire time when she was saving up the money. I was so proud when she saved up the money. Oh my God, when her mom gave her that cell phone and she was like, I'll text you mom, it's okay and I'll send you pictures and her mom was like really oh my gosh thank you I was so touched I would never send her mom a picture I was like oh my god this is so adorable I love this I love their relationship and how it's developing every time she'd find a clue I'd get so excited and so emotional when she found out that her pen was there and she hadn't taken the pen out and that there was a note uh, oh my god when the Australians were like we're going with you I was so moved. I just like the support she gets from everyone she meets is so fantastic to see. Seeing her get lost her by herself was amazing. It was just showed how much she had grown. Like, do can you imagine just going to Paris and getting lost by yourself? That takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of confidence. When she was about to get on that train to go to Croatia, I was like, oh. You just, you didn't say anything to him last night. You can't leave now. How could you leave without saying something? You came all this way. You went through all these different people. You learned about so much. Then she ran out and went to the apartment that the party was at. I'm so proud of her. I'm excited to see what happens. Like, I hope they travel Europe together or something or go back to the States together. I don't know. That'd be your little, I can't see Willem doing that. See, he seems like this drifting leaf in the wind that wouldn't settle down. That's kind of selfish. He doesn't 
care even if he falls in love i feel like he'll he's kind of still a drifter he still wants to do the things he wants to do even if she can't be there you know what i'm saying um and just the fact just the fact that he cheated on his other girlfriend kind of makes me weary of what kind of a person he is which i, I don't know i don't know how i feel about allison being with him but i'm excited i'm excited to see where it goes that whole conversation about falling in love and being in love you have to fall in love first and then you get to being in love obviously so if he just leaves these relationships that's why he never has been in love because he just flies away and does his own thing like he keeps moving he doesn't stay still long enough for it to become being in love i didn't like the fact that he called her lulu either i just wanted her to be like my name's allison just call me allison because that's my name and she wanted to be lulu and i know it really paralleled all these shakespeare things but it just really bothered me i loved at the end how she was like hi i'm allison not hey i'm lulu i'm back i'm back i'm back what's up share your thoughts and feelings how do you feel about Willem? Like seriously, I don't know. The journey that Allison goes through to find him was fantastic, but him, himself, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I, th I really like her dad. He didn't have many lines, but the lines that he did have, I liked him. <sighs> uh, I'm Christine, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.